Alaska. I'm assuming we're going live right now. Yep, thing says we're going live. Let's put on our title screen. Bow! Damn, that's a pretty sign. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, or anybody who's decided to uh, come talk and look at us. Draw pitches. Welcome to uh, Oakland Studios. My name's Jim James. Put you in focus here. Mm. Well, knowing the round guys, how are we doing tonight? It's uh, shit, twelve ten. I got Rizzo over here on the couch asleep. Right over here, we got Shannon. Shannon, you want to speak? Say something. She's on her phone. Hello. Possibly doing the internet surfing thing. Yes. Tang, 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 tang. Thing, Pinterest. Tang. Pinterest. If you have any kind of interest, there's Pinterest. Yes. Take this thing off my arm. This is what happens when you start to get older and your joints don't work right, especially when you stress them with weight. Good evening, ladies and gentle germs. <sighs> Tonight we are going to uh, draw a couple of sugar skulls and possibly put those up for sale. Actually, they are going up for sale. So uh, try not to pay attention to the headphones here. I'm going to be down here in a corner when I shift the screen image to the next scene. So I'm still going to be visible about what I'm doing here. Plus, you're going to be able to see exactly what's going on as it's happening live. But, uh, yeah, one of our contents we're doing is about at least two Sugar Skulls we're going to try to fit into this episode show, first casting. Welcome to our first show. Um, and we're also going to attempt to, Tracy, if you're going to be watching this, I don't know if you're up, it's really late over there in North Carolina, South Carolina area. This is more of a preliminary rooster for your image, so I can just give you something live to look at. Um, I'm not going to put that one up for sale. That's just pretty much uh, show and tell for Tracy. Well, we're going to throw that out real quick first, actually. So, um, yeah. Let's get right to it, guys. Mm. As you can see, this here is our drawing apparatus. We have our sheets of paper here. We are going to be messing with watercolors here for our first image as a... Uh, you won't be able to see, but there is an image of a rooster here that we're going to be using for our, uh, I don't know, what's the term here, for visual, I guess? I don't necessarily like to say reference, because that's been used time and time again. It's a visual. Visual's well, good. Visual's a good thing. Hello, Miss Violet. Violet likes to come over here and watch me paint. And actually play music. She's a she's big. She's a Ukla fan. She is. If she could be a roadie, she would. Actually, you know what? She might just chill out if we had her on the leash, just chilling out. She's very good with her temperament. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Rizzy. Let's use the poison towel for this, because that's going to be way more absorbent than that paper towel. All right. So let's start with a preliminary sketch, guys. We're going to be using. For all you art aficionados, uh, which one do we have here? It's my HP, the 6B. Let's go with the HB. It's actually still very dark. I know I have something lighter than this. Or I did. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, this is a soft 2 HB. As you can see here on camera, guys, I don't know if you can really see too well. That's a 2B. That's a 6B. This is an HB. They vary in shades, guys, if you know anything about art and drawing. This is a double ender. Don't ask weird questions. <laughs> it's actually just a reverse side if I need to go quicker. It's able to just handle my fastness. And guys, if there's a delay or anything on this video, just know that we're on a bit of a two millisecond delay, but this will be up for continuity's sake as far as high definition goes and whatnot. So if you're not able to see it all and it looks real jumpy, that would be why. Anyway, let's start with the preliminary rooster here drawing. Um, Tracy sent me a picture of a cow 
And this cow is kind of, uh, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with a new school tattoo format of kind of bulging out certain features of the uh, you know, face. Shana's raising her hand because she knows. She watches all the Ink Master shows and whatnot. But anyway, we're going to take this image of this rooster and just basically uh, kind of give it a drawn up at you kind of look with the, well, my head went on both cameras there. Look at the blonde showing up in all the gray. Yeah, fuzzy, I'm like a peach. I hate having short hair. <laughs> anyway, let's get right to it. So we're going to start out with, let's see, the rooster's head, as it were. So what you want to do first is kind of start with a basic circular motion for the... I'll make that say you know, what it's going to be later. We're going to put in details, and once I put in the color and wet it down, it'll be a lot more visible. So just bear with me here. It'll work, trust me. Well, we are running on a laptop, so it's kind of pushing everything. I was just trying to get some background noise. When it gets to be unbearable here in a minute because my voice is so aggravatingly awful, <laughs> then we'll put some more music back on. Guys, we're just putting in shapes here for the skull, like I said. We're using our pencil here for size measurement because basically the skull, like I said, is very symmetrical in shape and form. Now, that's pretty much right on point. That's where we want it to be. Right where we want it to be. All right, let's go on up here to the eye socket area. Since that needs to be up here, it's a little far off. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Maybe it's hum a tune or something, if I can get the notion. just looks up at me like, what? What are you talking about? I'm not going to hum anything. <laughs> what do you mean? What are you talking about? What's he doing in there? Don't say those things to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Never use these words. What are you mumbling over there, sir? Good, 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 dear, sir, ma'am, madam. Nothing. Oh, nothing of importance, I see. And since this is a divot side, we'll just make this concave. Okay. Now from here, as I said before, we're going to just kind of. All the contours of the eye. It's more like a teardrop oval, the way the socket sits. I don't draw near enough of these to know that for sure. Connect the jaw on this side. How are we looking on your phone? Pull us up on your feed and see what we look like. Oh, I wasn't about to try and see. Oh. I wasn't supposed to peek. Well, you can't really see anything on the camera from what I can see here. It's not exactly, you know, a finished product by any means. But we're just getting the general just. Oh, cool. Yeah. Is there a delay on it? Um, there should be a small well, one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing right now. Okay. It's all right. I don't have the sound either. It's okay. Give him a little wide open gap mouth here. Close that down over here. As you can see, we're blocking in the teeth because it's really no point in doing details right now at the moment. But you can get the just idea of what's going on. And here with the center line, right here is the center line. We're going to put our teardrop again. It's more like an upside down heart. Good. And here we'll put the bone. 
cheekbone brow, cheekbone stops here. Pull the skull brow on up to the top, to your center line right here, like where it goes, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you take this, just follow that curve right on down. But you want to keep it a little narrow because there are no ears. And there is no back of the hair or anything fluff-wise. So basically you have just your uh, you know, run-of-the-mill skull here, guys. At least your base image for it anyway. Like I said, you take your Pentel white eraser. You erase the damage. If you want to call it damage, it's necessary to call it damage in my head because I'm a twisted individual. Because I like to, uh, honestly, if I could have my own side business, which I kind of do with this, <laughs> uh, my actual own side business just is something to just dump money into and like call right off. Demolition! 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 You need something broke? We'll break it into finite pieces that you won't even recognize what it was before. Yeah, we will knock good. down a one-story building 30 minutes. 30 minutes or What's less. Or 30 <laughs> minutes or less. I'll, I gotta get the permit signed. As soon as I got the permit signed, I'm gonna call one of the boys. They're gonna come flying in with that <laughs> Mack truck. It's got a grill from hell on it. It's gonna... Then we got next thing you gotta do is push the walls in there on top of itself. Everybody get in there with a sledgehammer. <sighs> big old pile of rubble. Stoop it up in one of them big ass green go bags. 30 minutes or less. Thank you very much. Next job. <clears throat> we all get booked for working out, looking at broken shit. It'd be great. You don't want that no more? We'll take care of that for you. Shoot. And that's the sound of disturbed singing silence. <laughs> you are on just a slight delay. Good. That means we're catching every detail in finite uh, detail. If that makes any sense. No. It doesn't have to. We're artists. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to use the wet technique with this as well. But like I said, as we got our little skull drawn down here, we're going to uh, just you know, take it around the top here. Leaving out the highlight. Because you don't want to cover the whole thing. But you want to get your border straight so it doesn't bleed onto the rest of the paper. Like I said, this doesn't have to be immaculate right now, guys. It's just... Catching the edge. Surfing the wave, dude. Surfing the wave. Rizzo, don't look at me like that. I'm not really insane. Thanks for winking at me and clarifying that she doesn't think that I'm insane. I am my own cartoon character, as I was once referred to as by a friend back in the 90s. You know who you are. Oh, excuse me, Rizzo. She wants me to move. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's her goal. You can come over here and get in a small chair if you want to, the rolling chair, come over here. Just mind the cables. Or I'll mind you. <laughs> Don't you tell me to be where, I'll tell you where to be. Mm -hmm. Good. Poor little Rizzy, she has had one little rough get-go from the get-out into society. And poor Harley keeps tearing up the sides of her damn face. They're getting little puppy brawls and she plays it's real. Rizzo's fault. Yeah, Rizzo goes hard. <laughs> Rizzo goes hard. I go hard! 
And Harley says, no thank you. Yeah, no, no thank you. That's exactly <laughs> what she says. No thank you. No thank you. Okay. We're going to leave this here for now, guys. We're going to get some more wet on wet paper to put up under here. So uh, we'll come back to this here sugary smell in just a minute. Right now, we're going to take our bug eyed rooster. We're going to put on some shadow colors. For that, I'm going to pull up this picture again so I can get my colors in my head. Right said, Fred. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. We all know who Right said, Fred is. Mm -hmm. And we are too sexy to know what it is, actually. Mm -hmm. So as a shadow, we're going to start with the strongest colors first, which are, as you know, in primary colors, they go red, blue, and then yellow. Red being warm tones, blue being cool, and yellow being kind of the medium, you know, adversary to go between. Adversary? That's not the right term. The medium go between. What adversary? Where did that come from? Mind of an artist, ladies and gentlemen mind of an artist. But first we're going to start with our warm reds right now. So let's see. We'll start with a little bit of this one right here. Put our color down here. We are using our half inch brush too guys. There's no sense in being, you know, crazy about anything necessarily because it's just base color. You want to get it pretty wet. Because you don't necessarily want this to be the strongest thing ever, you know? Like I said, it's more of a base color than anything else. Shadow, as uh, some people would call it. And it always mocks me when I'm out here watching Bob Ross late at night. No, I don't mock you. Well, she has a little running <laughs> joke that she goes, Oh, Bob Ross is on. It must be time to go to bed. Yeah, and you say you watch it make yourself sleepy. Well, and I do, because his voice is very soothing. Because he goes to talk to you just like this. And it's so quiet, calming, mm -hmm. and almost monotone. But you know what? Our heavy little trees. I like to paint a little bush over here, ladies gentlemen. Let's go on up here. Let's get down here. <laughs> Dip it in a little bit of red. Let's, let's go up here. And you friends of Bob Ross will know exactly the imitation that I'm making right there. Happy, happy little roosters with bug eyes. Because you know in our world, we don't make mistakes. We just make crazy animals. Happy accident. Oh no, not in our world. Some more red, ladies and gentlemen. Some more red. Yeah, I'm not exactly the quiet Bob Ross type when I paint. I just noticed all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm rock and roll through and through, man. I try to be nice. I try to be a gentleman, as it were, in the South. But for some reason, my mouth just don't allow that. You can put me in a nice tuxedo and yeah, I'll look nice. But then I get to open my mouth. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Did, what'd you say? <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna dip in this red just a little bit harder. So I'm getting stronger red here. So I'm gonna put some more uh, Strength, strength behind this red here. It's a little more solid shadow area colors, you know what I'm saying? And once it dries here, like I said, it's not exactly going to run through the rest of the paper. As you can see here, it's kind of just hugging the border. 
and not bleeding out through the rest of the paper. If we can zoom in a little closer. A little bit closer. Shadow on the underside. We'll say our light source is coming from this area right here, from this part of the green. And our shadow source is dominant from this side. Light and shadow are very important, ladies and gentlemen, when you're painting images of roosters that don't really make sense because it's important to know where he is in the picture. Sure, it looks like a rooster, but not really. You gotta put color on it and put some detail in it, then it'll really look like a rooster that's gone insane on this picture for some reason, and he's pressing his face up against the damn picture to wonder what the hell you looking at. <clears throat> yeah, some of it animated, ladies and gentlemen, but as, again, I don't apologize. I am what I am. I gave up apologizing about uh, six months ago. You should never be sorry for anything that you do. Everything you do, it has a reason behind it. And if you think about it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So own up to everything you say, man. And if you're, you know, upset that you did it, then just go apologize. But you shouldn't, like, you know, be overbearingly sorry about something. But you know, sometimes you don't necessarily have to go all out. To apologize, a gesture or a kind word or two, a head nod, so to speak, it goes a long way. At least in my book, handshake, good look at you when you're talking to somebody. I'm from the South, how you know, do that stuff. Crazy cockatoo fur furls coming off the back of this chicken's tail. That's because he's upset because he heard, hey Jim, you that chicken honk, ain't you? We heard about you. Really? What'd you hear about me? Well, we heard that you like to sop up some biscuits with a bunch of our cousins and uncles and nephews. Now, really? Yeah, really. We heard this from way over in the south. We ain't got ears over here in the west. We ain't stupid. Damn. Marsupial soup? Marsupial soup and such. Good gracious. <laughs> so next thing you know, the chickens was knocking at the front door every single day. If you walk outside, you hear them right now. <laughs> Straining. You know why? Made them all swallow rocks. Don't care. <laughs> Me and chickens got a war around here, guys. I don't care. In my little imaginary world, Chickens are assholes. <laughs> All right, let's put a little more. Dude, yeah, that's where that picture came and from for the intro for this uh, art series here. And Winco, the those Winco <laughs> roosters, man, they love me, dude. And I walk up in there, they're like, "Hey, ah, ah, what up, dude?" <laughs> And I greet them with a smile every time. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to Wendy's to eat your cousin right now, man. He's going to be delicious. <laughs> He's going to be delicious. Let's take some of this orange over here and mix it in with our red here, guys, because we're going for the underbelly of the chicken now. So we want to get a little bit of uh, hazy. Let's put some yellow in there. Get a little lighter shade, a little lighter yellow. There we go. Bit more that yellow. Son of a. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're gonna follow a little bit of the underbelly under here. Notice again, like I said, guys, how the color is just not going anywhere except for where I'm putting it. That sounded southern as hell. <laughs> But Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs. <laughs> Forrest. Forrest. But Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs. <laughs> yes, I know that, Forrest. <laughs> Don't you think that I know that? 
they gave you the Congressional Medal of Honor. <laughs> they gave you, yeah, great movie, guys. Should taste like cigarettes. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Me and Jenny was like peas and carrots. Carrots. It's good. Peas and carrots are good. You ain't from the south. You don't know what you're talking about, no, though. You're saying it wrong. What she say? What was the saying? Pe peas and carrots. You need to say carrots a little more like porridge. Peas and carrots. Is that right? Yeah. Mama always saying. <laughs> I can't imitate Young Forest. I can only imitate the one who uh, met the president. Again. I must have drank me 15 Dr. Peppers. <laughs> there we go. Finally got that orange back in the sun. Gun. I'm not a good artist, guys. At all. <laughs> That's a joke. Like I said, we're just adding in the shadow part portion of this right now. And I'm staying in the warm tones for right now because it's easier to start in your warm base. And then you add the cool colors afterward because cool is kind of like where the shadow is stopping it because it makes sense because it's cool, right? Yeah, it's cool. But this is just basically giving you a general idea of where the chicken starts and where the chicken stops. Chicken, in this case, being... Henrietta, the hemorrhoid. Chicken in the corn. I'd love to sing it. You, you almost <laughs> pushed that button and it almost came out. It almost came out of my mouth. I can't do it, then that's copyright. <sighs> Guys, look up Chicken in the Corn on YouTube. Bushy One String. Bushy One String. You won't be sad you did. It's awesome. The best thing ever. You can catch by the name, it's Brushy One String. He plays on one string. Choo, choo, choo. <laughs> and he's uh, from the islands, as it were. Going into the beak, ladies and gentlemen. Going into the beak. The one bourbon. The one scotch. The one beer. Choo, choo, choo. <laughs> it's good, man. I like that stuff. Oh. That's the only clip you're going to catch out of me. Because they're doing a cover anyway. We're going in for a little bit of highlighted yellows here, guys. Because believe it or not, there is a little yellow undertone on the chicken's underbelly. And if anybody raises chickens or deals with damn chickens, you know what I'm talking about. You don't grab chicken by the beak. Oh, hell no. That's like messing with a honey badger, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? Pardon my language. Anyway, you go for a chicken by the damn feet. Scoop them up. Snatch them up quick. Catch your finger in the mouth of that beak. And they go to snapping like a turtle. It ain't right. It ain't right. A little bit of yellow here in the eyeball here on the shadow side. Keep the highlight on top. Yes. Now we're going into the tail. Shannon, we're going to the tail now. Okay. Don't judge me. <laughs> that sounds like you're making a mess instead of checking up on me. You know, it kind of happens when you're a dog who's asleep. Adding a little bit of red to the orange. A little yellow tones. Well, this way people, if they're following along, you know, kind of pay attention. Call me Bob. No, 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 I didn't call you Bob. I called oh. you Donald, the way you said it. Donald? Trump. Oh, I sound like Trump just now. Uh -huh. 
what you do is you take the girl, you take the orange, and then you put it on your hair. And then you walk around, <laughs> and you say things like this. What do you have to lose? <laughs> what do you have to lose? You leave the orange on your skin, but you leave out the eyes because you got to be able to see, all right? The chicken's got a mainly white chest, so we'll leave that going. Put it blended here. We're going to come back with a wet brush and blend in some of these hard edges so it'll, uh, Blend a little better. Exactly what we're going to do right now, actually. What we're doing is just taking straight water out of the glass here. Just blending. Guys, our new EP's got a, uh, I'm trying to decide whether it's going to have eight or six singles on it. And they're going to release it all here really soon. Got some final touches I'm adding to, uh, the ensemble. But as soon as that gets done, I'm going to go straight for the upload, ladies and gentlemen. Sure, this is not as quick as Photoshop, ladies and gentlemen, and it's a little messier, but you know, a little bit of uh, time and patience to take you everywhere. But it's human-made, well, not I, digital. I mean, you could say that too, but a little bit of time and patience to take you everywhere. <clears throat> it's literally a Jim James statement. You can write that down and coin it. I love the red with this orange. It gets a little darker. Shadow right there on that hen's leg. There we go. Same on this side. Good. Are you paying attention? Now you are. Put those colors in there and blend it in. Shadow up here at the top of the furrow. It's just a curl. I can't sing it. You know what? I wish we could have like a you know radio station or something we could play with legal songs that you know are able to play because people said that they don't care if you play these songs. Jim, that's called live streaming. You know you're right, but you have to pay for that service in some areas of the world. But we're not rich people by any means. At least not yet. Maybe we will be when we die, but that's usually how artists, artists are, you know? They don't get famous till after they're gone, so. You're not rich in money, but in other things. No. I don't care about money anyway. That's just me. But you kind of have to have it in today's society for some damn reason. For food and whatnot. Yeah, no, you don't necessarily need it for food. We could have imperial credits. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm making up a bunch of crap here, guys. I'm not making any sense at all. All right, we're going to switch over from our warm toes here. We're going to keep going into the brown here. A little bit dark under this uh, coxcomb. 
I like, I like saying that. I like saying weird loud words. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little dark under here, so we gotta put a, a definite edge, but a ruffled fur. And the edge of the neck would be pressed down. into the orange and let's add some feather accents. It's a little too wet. I don't know, it should go black on me can computer. Huh? Alright, let's come over here on this edge and define this neck a little bit more. Okay. okay. Take some of the pure white here that we have and just kind of come across <coughs> the edge here to soften up this little dangerous highlight area. This adds a little blending in the same fashion. more blending. And we'll kind of pull some of these colors out. Now, there's a little bit of blue and aqua blue in the back of his tail here. Let's get some of this blue here. Good. Excellent. Okay. Now we're going to go up in here. And just kind of add cool colors. And once this dries, this will blend in with that red in the back and make it look. More stand out ish. Okay. 
Because he's snoring. It's not me. Well, you know, when you're comfortable, you tend to snore. Let's put some shadow up here in the eyes. It's twice I've heard that now. Thumping. That's nothing of importance. Or something lays down here, Paul. Take this blue and just blend it out just a little bit. So you want it to stand out a little more. Add a little bit down here to the bottom. Shave these feathers just a little bit. So they look like they're standing out just a bit more. Good. It's making that green color I want. Good. Now, before this blue dries completely, I'm going to start blending it in. That way I can come back with a stronger blue and define some more tail pieces. Right now I just want to get the color in the area. We're running pretty long here, guys. We've already been on for an hour or so. All right, we're going to take this out and just sit over here, let it dry for a second. We'll come back to our previous sugary skull. Now, with this, it's pretty easy. Start with uh, your basic colors that you want to lay in first. Say there's florals around the eyes, the colors around the lips. Shannon likes purple. Let's just go with purple. Okay. Come down here and get all the pot going. Huh? I said pot. All right. Excuse me. The reason I like to do sugar skulls in watercolor is because it's very soft. And ladies like soft images. Especially when it comes to sugar skulls. I don't know too many guys that buy sugar skull images. Correct? Maybe. Possible. I would, but I'm that different type of artist. First, you're going to start with the color base. Let's put some of this blue in here, see what we get. Ooh, I like that. 
like that. Yeah, it's a good rich purple. Yeah, let's go with that. Deep purple. With this one, come on, outline the edges a little. As I said before, guys, these are just, like I said, colors. Just color in general. It doesn't necessarily have to be outlined or you know, detailed in the fullest sense just yet. Because when we get done with all this and they're completely dry, we're going to come back over these with a set of markers and then put in every bit of detail you would ever want to see. So, as far as this is concerned right now, we just kind of put in color. And like I said, you don't have to be precise. Well, you have to to a certain extent, but as far as like you know, keeping in the line and perfectly on the line, not necessary. Not necessary at all. Okay. What goes with purple but green? So rather lime green, as you can see over here, ladies and gentlemen, maybe not. I'll put a color scheme over here so you can see a little better. There we go. This we're going to use our millimeter brush, just because I want to put some fine lines in here. And that's the sound of disturbed singing silence. <laughs> I like the little limerick there. <clears throat> Pardon my voice, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a bit raspy this evening, it seems. A lot of phlegm. Mm -hmm. A lot of flotation phlegm. We're taking care of it now, ladies and gentlemen. All right. back in here and our stem feature to the center okay. now let's add some blues in just a little bit.
reds. Just set up that middle. Go back set down here. I was saying start with the warm colors. Just oh sweetie, it's alright. So then just this morning. Put some yellow accents on here. Gotta make these colors pop. <laughs> She's very vocal when she wants to be. She's super hard. Hey, you know, you got it, you got it, miss. Yeah. She got it. Don't mess with rest. That girl is resting good. Now for the yellow down here, I'm going to add an under light. Red a little bit. Okay. Yellow on the back side over here. Oh, sweet girl, it's all right. Unless you're upset. Alright. We're going to put in the black of the eye over here. This is probably the only black you'll ever see us use. At least with color wise. Rinse our brushes. Remember the blending technique. Kind of see the skull starting to take shape just a little bit. Of 
teeth are coming in. And the base is looking at. You having a good dream, you having a good dream, you know? Shadow down here. And over here. With the jawline. Right here up under the teeth area. Okay. Let's go up under here. Put a little more definition up under this socket. Set this one back over here and let him dry. This is what our image looks like so far. It's kind of spotty, but you know, it'll dry. Now, as you can see, our chicken, Shannon, is kind of coming together. Once the colors have dried, it kind of adds a little bit more of a depth. It's not exactly really dry, but it's pretty dry. So, we're going to come back in with this strong blue. Put some more definition on these feathers back here. Just with all the other colors, we're going to come back and blend these in. I'm going to go a little lighter up here on the top of the coxcomb because it's going to contrast with the back of the feathers on his tail, and you don't want that kind of mess up. Make sure it's real watery and not as strong as the ones on the tail were. Guys, it's a long video, and I know it is. I don't know if I think you all will catch your attention this long, but you know. If you're staying here with us and watching us, thanks for keeping up with us. Thanks for joining us. 
I'm not exactly looking at the view count right now. I don't really care. It's real late at night. Pretty sure everybody's asleep. <laughs> but when you wake up, what a hell of a surprise you're going to see here. But you got something to look at after church, if you do that sort of thing. Put some more blues in this beak and get it to stand out some more. some of that out. Some more orange on there. Old orange. Okay. Coming in hot with the yellow. Backside. There we go. Got a runner. Do 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 Bottom beak here. All right. Let's put some yellow on them legs. Some yellow, yellow, right there. Mm-hmm. Biscuits and mustard. Mm-hmm. What we're doing here is we're putting a little pink hue on these legs to give them a, you know, tone, just like in guitars. Tonal, tonal hues. Good day going down, y'all. A little bit of hang ons. There we go. That's some good pink right there. Santa's looking at me silly. Talk to me in that tone. Did you just say good pink? That's some good pink right there. Okay. Now you can take that in derogatory <clears throat> stashes as well. But we're not dirty-minded individuals, are we? No, we aren't. Like 
No, I really don't like pink. Which is why I have it on my arm. Chris was the man when it came to that, dude. He hooked them tats up nice. Mr. Gamble, that's all to you. Everything else is holding on tight. We're almost done with the color study here on this here chicken rooster. Next is coming up on this is the uh, outlines, and then we'll be done with this. I was going to try to get to three different pictures, but we're just going to settle with the, uh, seeing as how this is taking as long as it is, we're just going to settle with the chicken and the one sugar skull. Okay. Let's get back in here with this red. said guys we're just putting in highlight here and pretty much just a justification of color we're not necessarily going for details right here right now we're going for our inner chicken as it were Again, Shannon's looking at me silly. Hang on, hang on. I wasn't happy. Is that there? I was like at you. Uh, admiration, in fact. It's mm -hmm. nice. Admiration, yes, that's nice, yes. Spider Girl. Spider Girl. Alright, we're gonna add some of these boss ass yellow tones. Take them out with some of this red. I don't know about y'all, but this chicken looks like he's pretty damn fur old if you ask me. But you ain't asking me, you better ask me. English. It's not exactly just not English, it's just not correct English. It's the wrong word. Strong words? Wrong word. Strong bow. <laughs> Why never? <laughs> Yeah, we tried to get some good thespy in this our commercial, but we had to get his Patrick dude. The hell with this guy. <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> Who the hell is this Patrick guy? Nobody does gonna know this dude. Who is this guy? Well, I never. Absurd. It's absurd. Look at all this blue. That chicken is upset, Shannon. Why? I don't know. And just in my uh, painting world, the chicken looks upset. He's up furled. He's a little upset. What the hell are you getting up so close for looking at me like this? Personal space. Tonight at your local bar, five dollar shots of watercolor water. Five dollar shots. <laughs> it's non toxic, it's not gonna hurt you. And you'll be the talk of the town. Oh, I almost forgot his giant Kadungus eyeball. Yes, I made up a word, Kadungus. 
we're going to go with a blue purplish tone for the eyeball here in the middle. Put a little green in it. There we go. A little murky mauve purple. Don't touch the highlight. Again, don't touch the highlight. Oh, got a feather on there. Actually, not a feather. Finger. Feather. Bristle. Brush. Loose hair. Don't touch the highlight. Shannon. Don't touch the highlight. Thank you very much. Someone was listening. Okay, good. Now we're going to let that dry. We're going to let that dry. <laughs> and we're going to come back to it. There's a guy named John Wu who does these watercolor things on YouTube. It's actually really damn good. I'm mocking you a little bit, John Wu. I think it's John Wu or John Yen, something like that. John Wu's a film director. I was going to say, get his name right. Get his name right, Jim. Come on. I would want people to call me Jim James, and then people would call me Jim. Is that the Jim fellow? You mean that James dude? I don't know, I don't know who he is. Everybody keeps calling him Jim. Jim. He says his name's Jim James, but it's, it's, the people over there call him Jim. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I don't get it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming back to our sugar skull now. And as we reach the two o'clock hour, we're going to pull it on to our two hour show here. We're going to try to wind things up as quick as possible. Trust me, the lining process is fast and lightning. Basically, all you're doing is just lining. It's really that easy. What we're doing here is we're going to basically personify the shadow on this jawline here. No yawning. No, no. Not yet. We're not done yet. That's supposed to wrap me up. Hey, we're close. We're close, but we ain't there Don't yet. Wrap me. Boom in the shot. <laughs> Boom in the shot. First question. First question. Anybody fans of fluff out there? First question. Or dashy. Yeah, dashy uh, games are pretty funny too. Without butter, I do. <laughs> that was a good impression. Yeah. I got I got the headphones on too, and it's right here in the small corner. It kind of looks like it with the little video. Oh, yeah. Yeah, anyway. Fun stuff, guys, fun stuff. We're going to put in the little skull marks here. We are using our fine brush here, ladies and gentlemen. This is just, like I said, adding our shadow effect. Shadows in the thickness. What? Jim, sometimes you just confuse yourself and then you have to ask yourself, what are you talking about, good sir? You don't know. Well, no, I didn't answer myself. That's you answering for me. Mm -hmm. I was talking to myself in that general purpose of answering mm -hmm. questions. So, back to questioning. I don't know the answer to that. I'm going to stick with Shannon's answer on that, and then we'll call that official. Official 
official. It's official. It's official. Is your pig on mouth? How would you know? What are the signs? <laughs> Zebra style awkward was what make no sense whatsoever. <laughs> squid billies, ladies and gentlemen, squid billies. A great show. Yes, it is. A bunch of redneck squids from the hills of Georgia. So water! Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't noticed, I'm a bit loud and abrasive. If you can't handle that, uh, I don't know what to tell you. There are times when I'm quiet, but when I'm quiet is really when you should kind of uh, worry. Stay awake. <laughs> yeah. But this goes for anybody in general, really. Everybody gets some bad moods and whatnot. Shannon, I'm digging the hell out of this sucker's cold right, champ. I'm probably going to love it, huh? Oh, you're absolutely going to love it. You're going to love it. He said every show ever. She's going to love it. She's going to love it. Actually, we may put this up for sale. Someone may want it. No offense, but we need money. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Throw your head back one time. <laughs> it's okay, Rosie. Yeah, it's fine. When you paint the skulls, you have to kind of get into the animated segment of it, you know? When you see a skull, <laughs> A little wild and crazy. Why not? Indeed, why not? Indeed. Clever girl. Indeed. And with that, we're going to let that dry. Bring it on back, bring it on back, bring it on back, bring it on back, bring it on back. Our chicken is still wet. Hmm. Let's speed up the process. I got a fan. That's not going to work. No? <laughs> uh, let's try it this way. Woo! Yeah, that works. And this is the entertainment segment of our uh, show. Uh, we're going to call this uh, hmm? a little musical interlude. Little musical interlude. Uh, let's see. Make it up off the top of your head. Chewy chunk chewies. Chewy chunk chewies and chewy chunk chewies are chewy chunk. Chewy chunk chewies they're chewable, chewy they're delicious. Chewy chunk chewy chunk chewy chunks they're just delicious and it tastes really good. Cause the chunks are chewy. With the chewy chunks. What's in them, Shannon? First you got caramel. Then you got chocolate chews. You mix them up with a little bit of granola. Chewy chunks. Chewy chunks, chewy chunks, chewy chunks, and then chewy chunks. And they're delicious as little chewy chunks. Chewy chunks are delicious. The little chunks of chew. It'll take every one of your tooth tooths. Ladies and gentlemen, let's pull out our uh, marker section here. Let's 
start with a black. And what's this color here? Oh, black. How about this color here? Black. And let's keep our pencil out here for shading. The shadow colors! Purple and blue, how about you? some of that out with this Q-tip, tippity-tip-tip -tip cures. There we go. It's perfect. Perfect enough. For me. All right. We're going to pull off some of the extra wetness here with a little bit of these tip cues. Just to speed up the drying process here, guys. We have a flattening uh, process here, which called you push it between two big ass books and get it flat. <coughs> First, we'll try our undercoat drying here. Okay, good. Finite tip. Is it working too? <coughs> very much so. Thank you very much. Now, finite details, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, you have now been witness to the unfurling of a wild chicken. Rooster, that is. Rooster, boy! Rooster! I said, boy, ain't got a thinking spot in his head. I said, I said, I said, the boy ain't got a thinking spot in his head. You're going by the all wrong, boy! Sounds like me on a daily basis, don't it? <laughs> No, no, son, you're doing it all wrong. <laughs> Look here, boy, let me show you. Boy, I got all the attention in the world, but not a cell to think with. <laughs> Shut up! Is he insane? I think Jim needs to have some uh, professional help. They professionally tried to help me and it didn't work. Because I left. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be here all week. Well, I didn't have to go that far. The key here at the end, ladies and gentlemen, is definite and true lines. You don't want to be squiggly on here because it will show. And as these feathers on these wings are in the foreground, it helps to have them stay as such. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? For our last feet, we're going to 
going to enhance the tail feathers. Our CPU is currently running at maximum capacity. Do you know what that means? Mm -hmm. It means we're having streaming issues. You see the look of concern on my face as I continue to draw? Of course you don't. There's no concern. Of course, thank you. There is the fact as a whole. Oh no, this is all live, my dear. Our other videos kind of come out sort of uh, obtuse. Hey baby, did you fall from Angel? Because I think you're an angle. That made no sense. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hey baby, did you fall from heaven? Because you might be an angle. Uh, right, right or obtuse. Yeah. Uh, the one that has beautiful eyes and a killer smile. <laughs> a cute. So obtuse. <laughs> exactly. Did you hear me? Acute? Yeah. I'm acute? I'm not acute. No, I'm most certainly <laughs> obtuse. <laughs> For sure. Is that an angle? I'm not exactly sure that that's an angle at all. <laughs> but it's for sure obtuse. This guy's got a uniqueness about him that would make a crocodile choke on a rock. Is it an analogy? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It doesn't matter. Guys, I think we're going to call this chicken. <laughs> Last line details on here. Crazy chicken. Let's put a Jim James on that son of a gun. Twenty sixteen. Tracy, as you can see, this will be kind of what your chicken will look like, but not in this one, in fact, unless you want this one, we'll send it with your other picture. But unless someone else decides they want to buy it, I may put it up for sale, and they may have to first come, first serve on this thing. But, 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 there's more! Tracy's isn't going to be watercolor, is it? Not unless she wants a watercolor after seeing this. She may want an uh, acrylic. But we'll let her choose. It's her choosing. As we're going to finish up this here sugary skull, which Shannon really hasn't seen yet. Again, definite lines. You don't want to pick your pin up. This is what the small tip marker is for, for them fine little tricky details. But for right now, shoot, we just gonna put in these dang on teeth. As a whole. You use me here, uh, Karen. You'll find out that I use that reference quite a bit. 
as a whole. <laughs> Base of the skull comes to a point. Bring it back down, bring it back down, bring it back down, bring it back down, bring it back down. All right. Let's not make this sugary skull evil. Let's keep him happy. With teeth, you don't want to be symmetrical either, because that's really noticeable. You kind of want to get them just as separated as... Here, I'll give you a close-up shot of that. You kind of want to get them just as separated as you really can, because teeth aren't symmetrical. And if they are, they don't look right. Just like robotic drums. If you've got robotic drums going in the background, there's no fluctuation because it's hitting the tom and the snare at the same pitch every time. It becomes monotonous and it's not easy on your ears and your ears aren't focused as much because they can't focus. You're just hearing the same thing over and over. That's why human variation kind of adds a depth to a song. As I said, we're taking our fine pen and we're putting in our details. Again, using bold and determined uh, line segments. As a whole! <laughs> Shannon is not amused. Well, I'm definitely amused. Uh, she's, she's a muse, but not in that fashion. On these pedals, we're going to add some curvature to the center so that you know that they're pedals. Amazing what a small line will do. Go back under here, accentuate the nostrils, the bridge section, accentuate more of the brow. Go up here. That's a little division line. Right down. Spread through the face. Small chin area. Our petals out here. Lolly lolly da, lolly 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 da, lolly 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 da. Interlude, people, interlude. Now, we're going to take. Let's see. We had a red somewhere. There it is. There's that some bitch red. 
to work. From here we're going to add pencil shading. And what this does is just going to add a little bit of sheen to the darker areas. A bit of cross hatching, but not exactly cross hatching if you follow along. Shadow here above the teeth. Okay. Shadow up here above the line of the skull. And that in some. Highlight here in the middle of these flowers. Okay. Let's take our eraser here and find some highlights. Cross hatching, cross hatching. Okay. Almost done here, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. Some different definition up here in between these teeth, just to make them look like they're separated a bit. Same here on the bottom.
cross hatching cross hatching Alright, put the shade in here. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Call this one a finished product as well. Let's put some more definition on these teeth. Just for our jackets. Alright, now we're reaching the two hours and 30 minute mark, guys. It's almost like a damn movie. Let's put some color on the outside here and blend that in. My tongue cannot keep up with my rhythm in my head. And that's sad. Why for why is your tongue not keeping up with the rhythm in your heads, good sir? For one, my tongue doesn't seem to want to make words at this time of night for some reason. I haven't been drinking, officer, honestly. So yeah, guys, we're going to call this one Signed and Done. Say what, dear? Oh, you're going to love it here in just a more of a second. <whistles> Ladies and gentlemen, Sugar Skull, number one. Let's get a good shot of it. Okay, okay. We can add more details later. But for right now, this is just going to work as it is. And a final look at our chicken here. More of a cartoonish look, but as I said, it was more of a color test to show you exactly what kind of a color thing we were doing here. So, Again, guys, we may put this up after some preliminary discussion here about whether we should put these up for sale or not. But we'll discuss that here off camera. But as I said, here's our two art pictures projects. For today, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jim James. This is Ookla Studios. This is Ookla's logo. This is what we do on a daily. You need some work done. You know somebody else who needs some work done. Custom, custom stuff. Custom this, custom that. Custom with a baseball bat.